Uh, it's time to get started, and it is my pleasure to now introduce a man who has served as a licensed U.S. Coast Guard for over 35 years. He is also registered with New York City as an official wedding officiant and has conducted over a thousand weddings and vow renewals. Um, however, he has also himself been married for 55 years. So he is also your inspiration. Uh, please welcome Captain Arnold. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Times Square, the crossroads of the world. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to be here before you and to have you renew your love for one another. I have a few facts that I'd like to share with you this evening because it's interesting to see so many people that came from so far and near. People from Brazil, the Netherlands, Poland, Switzerland, Hungary, Ireland, the United Kingdom, and from way down yonder, Australia. And a few people that live up the block. So what we have here is really diversity. This evening, I would like to perform for you my ceremony of love. And I would like to take you all on a journey with me back into time. To the day that you were first married. Today, as you've done on your wedding day, you are taking into your care and trust the one person in this world whom you love with all your heart. You are both agreeing to share life's deepest and richest experiences with each other, and you're adding to your lives not only the affection of each other, but also the companionship and blessing of mutual respect. You have invited these guests here this evening to share in the celebration of your love, a love that now culminates in your union as husband and wife. The secret of love and marriage is in the essence of life itself. It is the emergence of the larger self, the finding of one's life by losing it, such as the privilege of husband and wife, to be each himself, herself, and yet another, and to face the world strong with the courage of two. And for some of you that are thinking to yourselves, who is this guy up here giving us all this powerful advice about marriage? Like, what are my qualifications to stand up here and talk to you the way I am? Well, like Lori said, ladies and gentlemen, my lovely lady and I, in exactly 24 days, March 9th, we will be celebrating our 55th wedding anniversary. So I think I'm more than qualified than anyone here to tell you all those ingredients that make up the chemistry for a marriage that will last you a lifetime. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you all to face each other, repeat after me. Say the word I, and say your full name. Take you, say your partner's first name, to be my partner in life. Everything I am and everything I have is yours, including my wallet. A little humor here, folks, you see. And now, my ladies, it's your turn, and don't worry, you don't have to give up a thing, I promise. What may come, I will be there always. As I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep. May these rings always reflect the light of your love throughout your life together. Wear them as a sign of the love that exists between you now, the love which now your hearts enfold and your words express. This ring I give you in token of my love and devotion. And with my heart, I pledge to you all that I am. Ladies and gentlemen, please face me now. As of today, there will be no cold, for each of you shall be warmth to each other. No loneliness, for each of you shall be a companion to each other. Now, I want each of you to listen to my words very carefully. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your lives together, trust me when I say to you, it will be marked by abundance and delight. And you can take that one to the bank. May the spirit of love be ever a part of your lives so that the union we celebrate here this day, once again, 
be celebrated tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow. And now by the power and the authority vested in me, and in accordance with the form of solemnization of marriage by the state of New York and of the world, it is indeed my pleasure, privilege, and honor to pronounce you once again partners in life. You may kiss your partner for as long as you want. Let's hear it, everybody. Let's hear it.